In this Excel video, I will show you the five default Excel settings that I recommend you change or at least consider changing. Let's get started. So here I am in Microsoft Excel, and of course I can work on this spreadsheet as needed, but behind the scenes I have some settings that really do affect my use of Excel. So let's take a look at a few that I recommend changing. I'm gonna click here on File, and when I do, I get this Options button in the lower left corner. I'll click on that, and it opens up my default Excel options. The first change that I recommend you make right away is found here in the Save options. So if you click there, notice that there's an option to save auto-recover information every, by default, it's 10 minutes. So what this means is that as you work in Excel, every 10 minutes, Microsoft Excel backs up your information just in case there's an outage, or your computer has an error and it shuts down suddenly, whatever was saved at the last 10 minute interval will not be lost. So that's great, but a lot of changes can happen in an Excel spreadsheet in 10 minutes. So you really might want to consider lowering this to maybe three minutes or four minutes or five minutes, whatever you think would be best for you and your data. Now, why don't I recommend putting this at one minute? The reason why is because if you're working in a big Excel spreadsheet with lots of data, maybe lots of tabs, maybe it's a workbook with like 10 different sheets, thousands of rows, dozens of columns. If you're saving once a minute, it really may affect your experience of using Excel. It might slow down and be a little bit sluggish. So I recommend three, four, or five, or six minutes. 10 seems a little too high for me. Another save setting that you might want to consider is the default local file location. In many cases, it's saving to your documents folder, and that's often a good place to save automatically. But if you want to change that, you can. Just change the text here to a different folder on your computer. So those are the first two default Excel settings that I would either change or at least consider changing. Let's move on to the third, and you'll find it here in general. If you find that whenever you open a new Excel workbook that you end up with three or four or two or five sheets, and maybe you don't need all of those sheets, maybe you're just planning to use one sheet, if that's annoying to you that you sometimes get extra sheets, just go in here to the general settings and change this number to two or to one whatever you prefer. After you do that, once you click OK, from then on, whenever you open a new Excel workbook, you'll only get one sheet, not multiple sheets. Then you can always add a new sheet yourself simply by clicking this plus sign here. While I'm in these settings, I want to point out that you can also change the default font for Excel and the default font size. If you have trouble reading the 11 point font, you can change it to 12 or 14. Of course, you could always just zoom in on the data to be able to see it better, but some people really do prefer the higher font sizes. Okay, setting number four that I recommend considering changing is this. Personalize your copy of Microsoft Office. By default, it's just gonna put in the name that Microsoft has for you as the user of Excel, but you can change that by putting something else in here. And notice that there's a checkbox that you can check to make it so that it always uses these values regardless of sign in to Office. Now this doesn't change every name that you'll see in Excel. If you're logged in through Office, you may see your true name from time to time, but the name associated with the documents that you create should be whatever you put here. While we're in this setting, I wanna point out that you can also change the default Office theme from colorful to black or white or gray, or you can use system setting. Okay, the final default Excel setting that I want you to consider changing is found here in advanced. If you click on advanced and then browse down toward the bottom, you'll see this display section. And here you can choose the number of recent workbooks that you want to have displayed in your copy of Excel. So right now, mine is set to 50. If I find that to be excessive, I can lower it to 30. And then when I open up Excel and go to my recent Excel workbooks, it'll only list 30, not 50. You can also make changes for the number of unpinned recent folders. So you could lower that if you prefer. It looks like both of these have a maximum of 50. 
but you could certainly lower them. So those are the five Microsoft Excel default settings that I recommend changing or at least considering changing. I did throw a few bonus ones in there, but there were five main recommendations that I have. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video. You could also support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to say thank you to my fantastic $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for the support that you've given me in the past and that you continue to give me. I really appreciate it. Thank you.